Okay, so before I would start the cervical traction, I would make sure that I had a bell and a timer. Then I would do my introduction. So, hi, I am Kaylin Holmbrecker. I am currently a student in the Kirkwood Physical Therapist Assistant Program. Is that okay if I help you with your treatment today? Then they'd say yes, and I'd say, so I understand that you're having some neck pain. Is that right? Okay. So I'm gonna have you rate your pain on a zero to 10 scale, zero being no pain, and 10 being we would have to take you to the emergency room. And then they would rate their pain, and I would ask about activities that make it worse or better, and then any changes that they've had since their last treatment. And then I would ask to look at it, and I would make sure that I palpate and then look for anything on the skin. And then I'd ask to touch, and then I would make sure that I did a minute of manual traction and then ask during that if that's okay, if it's too much pressure. And then after I was done, I'd make sure that I ask how that felt for them. And then I would explain the treatment. So I'd say, I'd like to do some cervical traction today. Um, so in your vertebrae, in your back, you have holes in which your nerves come out of. And since that you're having some swelling and some pain, it makes those holes really small. So your nerves have a lot of pressure on them. So with the cervical traction, we're hoping to open up your vertebrae and make those holes bigger. So there's less pressure on your nerves, which will hopefully decrease your pain. Does that sound good? Okay. Then I'd place the patient in supine and then explain to them what they're gonna feel. So they're gonna feel some light pulling and pressure in their neck. And then after I get them in and strap the belt and make sure everything is tight on their neck, I'd pump it to 10 pounds and making sure that they're comfy and that everything feels okay. And then I'd stay for the first five minutes to make sure that they're comfortable and that it's not hurting them. And then I'm gonna say, I'm gonna leave. I'm gonna leave you with this bell. And then the timer will be going for 15 minutes, but 10 after I stay for the first five minutes and I would sh explain to them how they would stop if they wanna get out or that they can just ring the bell and that I would come back in. Um, so I would leave and I would come back in after the 10 minutes and unstrap them and unscrew the neck pieces so that they're out. And I would let them lay there for five minutes. Um, and then after I would make sure that they get up and that they're sitting up straight. And I'd look at the neck again and palpate to make sure nothing's wrong. And I would ask how that felt for them. Do they think that helped or did not help? I'd have them rate their pain after. So again, on a zero to 10 scale, zero being no pain and 10 being we need to take you to the hospital. How do you feel after this treatment? And if they say they felt good and that everything was great, um, I would ask if they had any more questions or if they had any concerns and then make sure that they have an, another appointment scheduled for their next um, PT session. And then I would walk them out of the room and take them out to where they would leave. And then I would make sure that I clean the room and put all of the equipment away. And then I would be done with my cervical traction.